Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a full Ninth Armor collection video. Um, most of you that follow me know how much I love collected Ninth Armored. And the reason being is this man right back here, if you're uh, not familiar with why I collect, this was my Ninth Armored buddy right here, Elvin Wright Little John. He was born 1922, and sadly he passed in 2021 at the age of 99. And I uh, miss him very much, but uh, he's the reason I collect this unit. I'm attached to this unit. Um, I have a lot of items in my collection. I got a couple pillow shams. That's one there. I've got another one over here as well. Um, I do have three purple hearts. And uh, they've been in other videos. Uh, two of them were killed in action, and one of them was wounded in action. And as you see, there they are right there. I've got the unit they were with within the 9th Armored and the date they were either killed or wounded. And so, very humbled and honored to own those. But um, as of right now, I have a total of 35 9th Armored uniforms. Um, some of them have, you know, maybe more uh, information that goes along with them. Uh, a lot of these are named. Uh, a lot of them have laundry number. Um, there are, I think, about seven or eight of these that do not have a name or at least a laundry number, but that's okay. There's such a variety of uniforms here, and it's really interesting to see, like, what other units these guys, uh, you know, transferred from or to, either before joining the ninth or after being the ninth, with the ninth, uh, and maybe cycling home to be transferred home. And so um, I'll go ahead and kind of bring you in and show you. Um, the different uniforms, just kind of kind of pan them, being very careful where I walk. But um, a lot of different, like I said, varieties of units they were with before or after. Um, a lot of these are Ike jackets, but there are some dress jackets. Uh, some of them are officers' uh, uniforms as well. Um, I do want to take a second and show you my mannequin right here. It's been in another video. And the uniform on it belonged to a 9th Armored um, veteran. And I got a lot of information on him. I actually made a, a video specifically about that man. And uh, I'll put it um, in the, the end screens of this video if you want to check it out. But again, being very careful where I walk. Um, just different uniforms. I really, really am passionate about collecting this unit. Again, um, I wish my, my veteran friend was still alive, but I'm thankful... For the time that I had with him, he told me a lot of stories about, you know, just life in general and his service and family and, um, you know, the war, obviously. Um, a lot of good memories with that man. That's just a shirt right here, but I was going to include it in the video as well. Some of you guys that are watching this video might have helped me um, add these to my collection. You might even see a uniform that you even maybe sold to me. And uh, any of those you guys that are out there, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to to purchase these uniforms from you. Um, thank you for that opportunity. Um, these uniforms, honestly, have come in from they've came from so many different places. I've gotten a handful of them off YouTube. I'm, I'm sorry, eBay. This is YouTube, eBay, uh, Facebook groups, other collectors. Um, a lot of you guys I know keep your eye out for me. Let me know, or you'll tag my name or something when something comes available. Um, I do have other some other Ninth Armored stuff, and some of it, really a lot of it's just like uh, maybe letters home or postcards or, you know, some other little photos uh, and different things that came, you know, as a grouping. Uh, because some of these uniforms actually did come with, basically in a grouping, you know, they came with a lot of other things, uh, you know, some combat boots, um, again, just photos and family stuff and different things. But um, I'm very passionate about this unit. You know, I love research in the 9th Armored. Um, you know, they were they played a big role in the Battle of the Bulge and then um, helping to get a foothold uh, into Germany. You know, the Ludendorff Bridge, the bridge over the Remagen, uh, that was a big deal. But there were other units that worked along with the 9th Armored to capture that bridge uh, and help us, again, get a foothold uh, into Germany. Um, I can only imagine, you know, these guys, you know, what they went through, not only with the ninth, but any veteran, what they went through and experienced, you know, during the war and everything. But um, I've always got my eyes peeled for other uh, ninth armored uniforms. Um, if any of you guys have any leads, definitely let me know. Keep me in mind. 
but um, I'm just so thankful to be the caretaker. In a way, I guess I consider myself a ninth armored historian, uh, not professional by any means, but it's um, it's definitely interesting, you know, researching this unit. Um, I know a lot of you guys have particular units you collect and research and everything as well, and I think that's really cool. Um, it's definitely um, fun, you know, researching the footsteps of the soldiers, um, you know, and find out where they served exactly, maybe even kind of almost make you feel like you were there with them, you know, like you're retracing their footsteps and everything and um, just kind of learning about their service. But again, deeply honored and humbled to have uh, all these uniforms in my collection. Um, you know, I, I, I made another Ninth Armored video. Um, it was a, about a year ago now, I believe, and I think I had like 21 or 22 uniforms. So I've added about 13 or 14 more within the last year. But um, a lot of history, um, a lot of sacrificing and stuff like that. And um, again, I hope to continue to be able to add more uh, 9th Armored Jackets uniforms. I, I would love to get some 9th Armored Helmets, obviously with provenance, but um, just other things that might find their way in my collection. Um, I do have some leads on some other items, you know, uniforms and other things. So hopefully maybe they'll work out and I'll be able to um, either trade for or purchase them. But anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. Um, again, keep me uh, in your thoughts. If you come across anything 9th Armored, again, I do, you know, collect the Purple Hearts as well. I've got three 9th Armored, but um, I would love to be the caretaker of, of many more items as well. But uh, let me know what you think, again, about the wide variety of different units. Um, just for example, the 90th Infantry right there. Uh, some of these have the 4th Armored or 2nd Armored. Uh, there's the 5th Infantry infantry right there. There's 4th Air Force. That's kind of a random one. Um, what else do we got? Uh, I know there's a Tank Destroyer patch. You got 3rd Army right there, Amphibious. Um, and again, the, the Mannequin's got an Amphibious there. Amphibious Landings. Um... There's a 70th Armored, um, and just different ones, you know, which is pretty cool, you know. And honestly, this is a pretty cool item here. I got a, a M43 field jacket. You know, a lot of those were wore out so bad from use and probably tossed, thrown away, or destroyed one way or another. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video again. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Let me know what you think, and I'll be getting back to you soon. So thank you.